Hello everyone, if you want to understand the histopathology of lichen planus, which is a papillosquamous disorder, which is very important for exam point of view, do watch this video till the end. Myself, Dr. Madhuran Shinva, certified dermatologist from India, discussing derma related topics in my YouTube channel. So if you are new to this, I would suggest and request you to please subscribe so that you will get all the latest video notifications onto your mobile screen. And uh, no one can destroy iron, but its own rust can. Likewise, no one can destroy a person, but his own mindset can. So this is very, very important mindset. So you should have a very good positive mindset and you should have a very good view about your future. You should work hard and smart based upon this positive mindset only your future is going to be as bright as you want. And you also should understand that this positive mindset along with focused and consistent actions can make miracles look like a very normal daily routine stuff, which is very difficult for some people to actually achieve. Okay, so with this, we will jump on to this today's question, which is on uh, histopathology. And you can see there is one term, Max Joseph space. And you need to answer it and if you have marked it as option B, lichen planus, excellent. So let us see the histopathology of lichen planus. So this is lichen planus histopathology which you are going to discuss. So this picture which you are able to see, this you can say it is a line diagram which is depicting the epidermis and all its layers from superficial to deep layer, stratum corneum, lowestrum, granulosum, spinosum and basal. And as you can see in lichen planus, in the stratum corneum, there will be increased thickening thickness of the stratum corneum, which is called as hyperkeratosis. And in the granulosum layer, stratum granulosum, we can see hypergranulosis. That is increased thickness of the granula, granulosum layer can be seen here. And specifically in lichen planus, it is defined as a wedge-shaped hypergranulosis. And uh, a question for all of you, this wedge-shaped hypergranulosis which is seen histopathologically is going to, you know, clinically manifest as one very important finding. If you know what is the name of that finding, do check, uh, do, you do put your answer in the comment section. What is that finding called as? So I will give you a clue. So it is called as, so the suffix which is used is stray. So try to identify what is the prefix for this word. So in the next layer that is stratum spinosum, we are going to see again thickening, thickening of the stratum spinosum, uh, which is called as Acanthosis can be seen in lichen planus. You must remember that this is a irregular variety of acanthosis. Irregular acanthosis, this is also a very important question. And coming to the stratum basal, which is also called stratum germinatum, in this we can see uh, that the uh, retail ridges which are present, they are going to become sawtooth like. And so this is called as saw toothing of the retail ridges, which is also a manifestation of lichen planus. So just a quick uh, view about what is actually happening in the lichen planus. So basically, all these, you know, purple colored structures, which you are able to see, these are all the lymphocytes. So first get the orientation right. These are the lymphocytes. All these are lymphocytes. And what you are able to see, these crusts and troughs, these are basically retail ridges and the dermal papilla. So, you are, we are looking at dermal epidermal junction in a very magnified view and you are able to see that the lymphocytes are present at the junction of the epidermis. So, this is epidermal side and this is a dermis side. So, this is the dermal side. So, in between these two, we are able to see the lymphocytes and in lichen planus, we are going to see these lymphocytes in a very confident manner and these are in fact given a name called as band shaped lymphocytic infiltration very very important band shaped lymphocytic infiltration will be the band shape and these lymphocytes what they are going to do is they are going to cause basal cells the stratum basal layer these cells are going to become degenerated because of these lymphocytes and this is uh, going to cause what is called as basal cell vacuolation and thereby these lymphocytes, they are going to reach the even more topmost layers of the epidermis and they are going to produce necrolyse, necrotic changes and also apoptotic changes of the keratinocytes. And these cells, the keratinocytes which are undergoing necrosis or apoptosis, they are called as civet. They are going to be 
uh, renamed instead of keratinocytes as thebate bodies colloid bodies cytoid bodies or necrotic bodies so basically these are the keratinocytes which are undergoing necrosis or apoptosis these are the important terms which you must remember and the basal cell vacuolation and the lymphocytic infiltration both of these put together both of these put together we call it as interface dermatitis what is interface dermatitis interface is at a junction at a junction because at the dermal junction we are able to see these changes it is called as interface and uh, it is given a name called as dermatitis interface dermatitis very important one example for interface dermatitis is lichen planus but of course there are others uh, which are also important which you will see in the upcoming uh, you know videos and here you can see actual histopathological picture of lichen planus and we can see very clearly that you are able to notice hypergranulosis is seen here and also you can see very very confluent lymphocytic infiltration which is called as band like band shaped lymphocytic infiltration and if you observe carefully you are also able to see that the Rita ridges, the Rita ridges, they are becoming very, very sharp and this is the reason why they are called as saw toothing of the Rita ridges, saw tooth Rita ridges, saw tooth Rita ridges. Saw toothing of the Rita ridges and if we further magnify the image, you are able to notice that at certain areas, so this is the epidermis, this is the epidermis and this is the dermis and you are able to notice that there are few areas where the spaces are uh, you know much more ingress so i told you basal cell vacuolation will occur what is vacuolation so there will be a space which will be seen in the basal layer and in the uh, you know certain areas of the skin this can be exaggerated and there can be a big space uh, a lacuna which will be seen and these are given a special name called as max joseph space these are given a special name they are called as max joseph space and uh, this was actually the question which was asked and the answer for this is of course lichen planus which we have discussed till now okay so i hope now you have understood this max joseph space and what is its important and where is it uh, found yes it is lichen planus so a simple question for all of you in psoriasis vulgaris there is one very important change which can happen when in stratum corneum which is a named change so can anyone tell me what is that uh, you know change so uh, i am asking about one micro abscess one type of micro abscess which can be seen in the stratum corneum so i am not asking about parakeratosis most likely you might be knowing that the retention of the nucleus in the stratum corneum is called as parakeratosis i am not asking about that i am asking you about one named micro abscess which can be seen in stratum corneum so please try to put your answer in the comment sec section if you know the answer for this question which i am trying to ask so i hope this video was helpful please please give this a uh, big thumbs up uh, hit that like button if you uh, enjoyed this session if you this was helpful to understand histopath of lichen planus and try to put your answer in the comment section what is center criteria and where is it used to diagnose put your answer in the comment section so all the links are there in the description for the group uh, and the links and also if you want any specific topic to be discussed by me put that in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video till this point do like this video and this is dr manjan shinwa certified dermatologist discussing dermal related topics thank you so much happy learning dermatology friends do share all this video also to your friends and colleagues thank you so much sarve jana sukhino bhavantu bye bye